Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Texas Association for College Admission Counseling College Fair. Um, we are so excited to have you participating in this event. Um, we have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but will be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Kelsey, and I will be your facilitator. So before we get started, let's go over a little bit of housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A or question and answer button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of the many different sessions happening this week, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website and sign up for more. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com Texas. And now I'm going to turn it over to our first presenter. First up, we have Columbia College, Chicago. Hi, Kelsey. Thank you so much for that. So my name is Alfredo uh, Echeverria. I work here at Columbia College, Chicago. Um, before I get started, Columbia College, Chicago is located in, as you can guess, Chicago, Illinois. We are a four-year private liberal arts college that tends to mainly focus in the creative industry. So if you are someone who really flourishes in the creative environment, or you're just an artsy-fartsy student, um, this might be a really good place for you to, to take a look at. Uh, we are located in downtown Chicago, uh, particularly in our South Loop neighborhood. Um, so if you've ever heard of uh, uh, Millennium Park, The Bean, Grant Park, or a five, 10 minute walk from all those locations. Uh, when it comes to, uh, give me one second, there we go. Um, our, our, our size and the demographics of our student body, we're about a medium-sized college. So we're close to 7,000 students. A majority of those students are gonna be undergraduate students looking to earn some sort of bachelor's degree from us. We do have a smaller graduate uh, student body. It's close to about 200 students. Uh, this past year, we did enroll close to 2,000 new students. A majority of those will be freshman students, uh, be, but we are also very transfer friendly. So if it doesn't work out enrolling here as a freshman, we do all also have transfer specialists that can help you enroll um, from a community college or a local college back home. When it comes to majors and programs, you do have uh, over 60 different options for you. That's going to be a combination of majors, minors, online certificates, and graduate degrees. Um, when it comes to our freshmen that live in residence halls, about 70 one percent uh, do live on campus their first year. Uh, I like to stress for two main reasons. Location, you get to live in downtown Chicago as a college student and access. A lot of those job opportunities or internship opportunities are gonna be in the downtown area. Um, so that, that, again, location and access, it's a great combination, um, especially for a college like ours. And when it comes to diversity and inclusion, about 57% uh, uh, of students identify as students of color and about a third of students identify within the LGBTQIA plus spectrum. And that's a big part of our identity here at Columbia, diversity and inclusion and making sure that whatever walks of life you come from, life experience you have, identities you might have, uh, that you have a space here to share your stories with us and ultimately the world. Um, and when it comes to the average high school GPA for incoming freshmen, it's a 3.34. Uh, we do uh, uh, review applications holistically. So if that GPA isn't at that number, don't worry about it, don't sweat it. We will look at other materials such as your resume, portfolios, um, you know, recommendations, any other information that we can use to make uh, a decision based on your application. When it comes to financial aid, there are three ways for you to earn financial aid from us as an incoming freshman. The first one is creating an application and completing it, um, submitting a, a, a a uh, official high school transcript which make, makes you eligible for a academic merit-based scholarship. The second option is a financial need-based scholarship which is based exclusively on your FAFSA and then a talent-based scholarship which is based on a portfolio or audition. For BA applicants, it's completely optional to submit a portfolio but for BFA or BMUS applicants, that is uh, mandatory as part of your application. And then 99% of freshmen earn some sort of financial aid from us and 97% of transfer students will earn some sort of financial aid. 
When it comes to the actual environment that you'll be in, uh, we do consider ourselves a hands-on immersion in your fields from year one. So um, some colleges might make you focus on your uh, liberal arts requirements your first two years and then your major related classes your last two years. At Columbia, we don't do that. We let you jump in into your musical theater class or music or, or film classes from the get-go. Um, we basically don't want you any, sorry, we don't want anything stopping you from starting uh, what you love and, and what you ultimately want to make your career out of. Uh, we do have small class sizes. Uh, the average class size is anywhere from 15 to 18 students. It's a great way for you to create um, connections uh, with your instructors, but ultimately with your classmates who will be your collaborators post-graduation. Um, and then uh, we do have faculty who live uh, what they teach. So it's very common for me to hear students get some sort of job or internship opportunity from um, instructors who've had maybe 30, 40 years experience in their fields already. Um, as I did mention earlier, we do have over 60 different majors and programs at the college, very general. Um, you know, we have our School of Audio Communication and Writing, Media Arts, our School of Performing Arts, and then Visual Arts and Business. And if you wanted to learn a little bit more about those different schools and the programs for each one, I would recommend heading over to columbia.edu slash majors just to get a little bit more nuanced details on that. Uh, oops, oh, and when it comes to, give me one second, student life, um, we do have over 70 different clubs and organizations. I always tell students if there's some sort of club that doesn't exist already, you can always work with student life and create your own club. Um, and we do have over hundreds of different campus events every year. There's always something to do, always something to see. I always tell students there should never be a reason why you're bored here uh, because there's always something going on across the college, across departments all year round. Um, and we do have residence centers designed for creative students. Uh, there's one residence hall in particular where we have the entire floor completely vacant. Um, and we actually encourage you to graffiti the walls, create murals with your friends. Uh, we basically want you to exert that creative energy in a healthy way and we have that space for you on campus. So every year we paint it white and every year we tell you to go wild and every year we paint it white again. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Columbia in a nutshell. Um, again, my name is Alfredo Echeverria. I am your admissions officer here at Columbia. You can feel free to shoot me an email right here. Give me a call and when you're ready to create an application and apply, you can head to columbia.edu slash apply. Um, but thank you so much for uh, taking your time out with us tonight and I'll hand it back to our facilitator. Thank you so much, Alfredo. Um, we will move right along. I believe next up we have Webster University. Hi everybody, it's Andrew Lowey, Associate Director of Fine Arts Admissions at Webster University. I want to tell you a little bit about what we have going on here at Webster. So we um, are located in Webster Groves, Missouri, which is a residential suburb of St. Louis. Um, just to give you an idea of where St. Louis is, we're sort of kind of right in the middle of the country there. Um, we have around 2,400 full-time students, so this is not a large state university situation. Our classes are really clapped at, at 25, and in some cases, um, you know, in our fine and performing arts where, where you're actually, you know, using gear, uh, creating, um, um, you know, creating works of art, those are going to be, uh, you know, capped at probably closer to 15. Uh, about 100 different college majors all together. Uh, we have all those majors you would expect in the liberal arts, but we do really well in our fine arts and communications. Specifically, I'm going to talk about those um, in a little bit. So um, we do also have uh, limited general classes. We do require general classes, but they are limited and you are certainly in control of how you want to satisfy those general class requirements. Um, in terms of how our application process works, you are admitted academically or you apply to the university academically first, just like any student, and then you will conduct an admissions or portfolio review for specific acceptance into your major program. Our preferred deadline is January 1st. We will accept applications after that, but we really encourage you to, to, to get it in before January 1st, you know, the sooner the better when it comes to the college admissions process. So we are test optional, like a lot of colleges. This gives you the um, 
statistics in terms of what we're looking for, our middle 50% in our GPA and our ACT and SAT, overall I would classify as, as a somewhat selective school there. And you can see those statistics um, there. The acceptance rates in our program do vary. Some are quite selective and, and some um, you know, be, may be a little bit more flexible in terms of specific acceptance into those, uh, into those programs. But anything related to the fine arts um, is gonna require a, um, a portfolio review or an audition. And these are some of the programs. So this is our College of Fine and Performing Arts here at Webster. As you can see, that encompasses the area of art, dance, music, and theater. These are all actual degrees that we offer here. So these are not emphases. These are not design your own majors. You can actually get a BFA in electronic art. You can get a BFA in printmaking or sculpture. Um, we have some very unique programs, uh, music direction for musical theater for those students who are interested in uh, being a music director um, for, a, for a musical in the, you know, in the pit orchestra there. There's a songwriting program. In theater, we actually have specific majors in all of these areas, two majors um, in costuming alone. There's a wig and makeup major, scene design, stage management. All of these, again, are very um, uh, comprehensive. Uh, you get to do them from day one. Um, so that really is important to us. We do not want you to spend two years taking everything except what you're interested in. So that is all very important to us. Uh, related to that is our School of Communications. Uh, and just like the College of Fine Arts, this is a hands-on program. You are going to get into it right away. You would be a film, TV, and video production major immediately. You would be a sound recording major immediately. You get to touch the gear. Um, you get to be specifically in those, uh, in those classes. And so all of these are actual majors. They're all related to um, you know, video game design, digital media, animation, script writing, sound recording. All of those um, are related. We have all of these equipment and studios and facilities on campus that you're able to use right away as a first year student. So again, very important to us. One thing we really emphasize uh, really in all of our programs um, is to encourage students to take advantage of our entrepreneurship program that's in our school of business, because this will really teach you to be a freelance artist, to be a consultant, to market yourself, how to, um, you know, how to establish, you know, a career um, as an artist uh, and, and doing, you know, individual work. So, and, you know, really, we emphasize that every artist needs to think of themselves as an entrepreneur. So as you're looking to kind of um, decide exactly what your academic program uh, should look like, think strongly about being uh, an entrepreneurship minor that fits nicely into most of our majors and really gives you the tools you need to be a successful artist after graduation. These are our residence halls, um, really quite nice. This is actually, that's a real photo. That's not a stock photo we dropped in there. Uh, that's really what they look like. All of our residence halls are, are um, semi-private suite style bathrooms. So the bathroom thing at the end of the hall for 30 people, we do not have that anywhere. It does not exist on campus. All of our housing um, is a semi-private suite uh, style uh, arrangement there. So if you're 35 miles or farther, you do have to live on campus for the first two years. Um, but uh, again, it's a very comfortable situation and our students really, uh, really like the setup overall. So here's what we have going on with our tuition, financial aid, and scholarships. First of all, there is no in-state out-of-state tuition. It's the same amount regardless where you are, where you're from. We do have talent-based scholarships for our fine arts majors. Those are on top of any academic scholarships you would receive, and you can kind of see the information there as those range from thirteen to nineteen thousand dollars. We also have room and board scholarships, and we do have a full tuition scholarship offered as well too. So um, we have quite a range of scholarships and financial aid that are available to incoming uh, new students. Here are some examples of what our graduates are, are doing. That's Leah holding the Oscar for Frozen. We have several graduates actually working at Disney. We have graduates that are on Broadway winning Tony Awards in New York and LA in film and TV, um, working in recording settings, whether it's in Nashville or Los Angeles or uh, any other settings uh, like that, uh, professional musicians. So again, just to give you kind of an idea of exactly what all, all the graduates are doing there. So um, uh, very successful and um, they do a lot of great work after graduation. This is my last slide and probably my most favorite slide because uh, this really kind of gives you an idea. This is who we are. This is what Webster is. Um, college is about finding the right fit. And so, you know, as you look at all your colleges, Ask yourself where you're going to fit and where you're going to be comfortable, and this is what you'll find here at Webster. So that's my contact information. If you need anything uh, moving forward, that's why we're here to, to help out. So please let us know if we could ever be of assistance.
Thanks so much, Andrew. Um, we will be moving on to the University of Las Vegas, Nevada. All righty, howdy y'all. I'm Ashley Stone. I'm the student recruitment specialist for the College of Fine Arts. And as you might have guessed from the all, I am a Texas transplant. So it's really exciting to be here and talk to some Texans. Uh, so here at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, we are a relatively large size campus. We have 35,000 students overall, including graduate students. But here in the College of Fine Arts, which I'm here to specialize in my speech to tell you about words, uh, <laughs> we have seven Harry Potter houses. So let's get to the first one which is architecture. There we go. Alrighty, so our School of Architecture has three different majors that you can choose from. Architectural studies, so the exterior structures of buildings. Landscape architecture, which is essentially everything that happens between buildings from designing basic outdoor, outdoor spaces like parks all the way to nature conservancy. And then we have interior architecture and design, which is the interior structure of buildings and how people interact with them. Our students use a wide variety of mediums to explore their craft and to represent different materials within their final presentation structures that they show. We also engage in a broad variety of exploratory work here. This is an interactive topographical map presented, some collaborative work offered by our classes in our second year. And all of our third and fourth year students in the School of Architecture have their own unique cubicle spaces in which they get to work and store their materials in between classes. They also have access to a fully functional wood shop so that they can do hands-on design build projects. This also includes collaborating with our College of Engineering for the Solar Decathlon. It's also home to the wonderful Architecture Studies Library, which is helpful for architects and my theater studies folks if they're interested in set design. I can give you some good feedback there. Alrighty, Department of Art. For our Department of Art, our students can study painting, drawing, and printmaking, sculptural practices, photography, and graphic design, as well as art history. We are also home to the Barrick Museum of Art that is a fully fledged art museum in the heart of campus, and it is free and open for wonderful inspiration during the year. We also have many lovely guest artists that come out to work with our students and inspire our community. This is a large scale collaborative art project that was a giant quilt that ornamented one of our buildings. Popping over to graphic design, which is one of our very popular programs, they do have a capstone event where they create an entire branding design for a company of their own invention. And they present this both at a tabling prospect, talking with designers in the city, as well as doing a lecture style presentation, which you might do for a job interview. Alrighty, third Harry Potter house, the Department of Dance. Our dancers have two degree pathways, performance and choreography and production and management. Everybody gets to dance, but everybody gets to go down the pathway that they wish. Our production and management folks are more tailored to the back end of the house, coordinating a studio and that kind of thing. Our performance and choreography folks are looking to be more center stage once they graduate. We do have the opportunity for our Dance Faster program, which is a credit by exam. If you've been dancing for a long, long time, there's some fundamental courses you might be able to test out of and get to your dancing career just a little bit faster. Our students do study ballet, modern, and jazz. And we even have a Pilates minor if you're interested in adding that to your adventure. We also have a wonderful exchange program with Korea National Sports University, which is what's depicted here, where there's a joint concert featuring Korean traditional and modern dance, which is very, very fun. All right, fourth Harry Potter house. This is our stray entertainment, engineering, and design. This is an incredibly unique program to our campus, and it is a collaborative effort between the College of Fine Arts and the College of Engineering. These are the folks that will go on to do theater technical designs that are like the hydraulic stages you see on Cirque du Soleil. They do animatronic programming. They have designed escape rooms for projects. It's really a wonderfully unique program. This is from a pyrotechnics facility tour that they did. Um, there is an infinite number of branching career paths for these folks. Some have gone on to be Disney Imagineers, one created an American Ninja Warrior set, and many are working on the Las Vegas Strip, supporting many of the biggest shows that you see here. Big laboratory space. Alrighty. Fourth, fifth Harry Potter house, counting is hard. Alrighty, Department of Film. There is one major in film and it's film, but there are many pathways you can choose within film. So everybody learns the same foundational coursework, but then they get to mentor themselves with a faculty member that specializes in the area that they like, say editing, audio editing, video editing, all the different kinds of editing, screenwriting, acting, all of that. You can refine your path in your junior and senior year. There's also tons of filmmaking collaboration opportunities. This is our Coca-Cola Regal Cinemas competition finalists that were from three years ago to sophomore women submitted one of the final five scripts up against grad students from other institutions. And they built a team of sexy colleagues and it was so much fun. 
It's also a very wonderful warm film family. We have many alumni out in LA and in just a couple of weeks, we're going to go have an alumni event out in LA. So know that they keep you as part of the film family for your whole life. Alrighty. Sixth, Harry Potter House, School of Music, my second home. We have degrees in music education, music performance. Uh, if you enjoy jazz, highly recommend this program for jazz. Coming from Texas, I know Texas has some phenomenally strong jazz programs, but I was absolutely blown away by the caliber of music that they're making here in our jazz department. They've been at the Monterey Jazz Festival year after year after year, and they're just doing incredible work. Um, we cover all your traditional classical instruments, as well as all of your traditional jazz instruments and some less traditional jazz instruments, and there are tons of ensembles. So even if you say don't want to pursue fine arts as a full-time major, if you want to be in an ensemble and continue to make music with us, you absolutely may. And we also have fully staged operas. <laughs> Alrighty, last Harry Potter house, our department of theater. Theater has three main pathways. There is stage and screen acting for those who, again, want to be on the front of the stage, but want to specialize both in stage and screen acting. There's also voice acting as part of their training and a little bit of musical theater work. There is an audition for that program between your freshman and sophomore year. It involves two monologues and 16 bars of your favorite musical theater jam. We also have theater studies, which is a blend of technical theater and the, the acting backgrounds. And then there is theater technology and design. So stage design, set stage and set design, that seems a bit redundant, lighting design, costume design, all of those technical aspects that are really the foundation of a theater structure, which is wonderful. We do five straight plays and one musical a year, and we have a ton of fun doing it. And that sums up our College of Fine Arts. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and boogie on. That was perfect. Thank you so much. We will move right along to Oklahoma City University. All right, let me share my screen with you. And we'll get rolling here. There we go. All right, my name is Leslie Welch and I'm with Oklahoma City University. And I wanna say thank you for taking time to learn more about OCU and all of the schools that are represented tonight. OCU is a private university in the heart of Oklahoma City. We are considered a small liberal arts university affiliated with the United Methodist Church and open to all faiths. Now, Oklahoma City itself is the capital city of Oklahoma, and it's been named one of the top 25 best cities for millennial job seekers. Our students enjoy a lot of activities um, around the city, including for professional sporting teams like the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, the arts and cultural districts have several theaters for our students to perform. And we have the River Sports Adventure in the Boathouse District, which is one of three um, Olympic training sites for rowing, kayaking, and canoeing. So all of that is within about 10 minutes of campus. OCU is a community where you are gonna be known um, your classes and labs are going to be taught by professors, um, not graduate assistants, providing you with opportunities to build relationships and a network that's going to last you a lifetime. You can see by the information on the screen, um, our average class sizes and student to faculty ratio. One thing that's really important is that as you talk with professors, you're going to know that they really care about you and desire to help see you succeed. Um, we are known as one of the top 10 most rep, uh, represented universities on Broadway. Christian Chenoweth, um, an OCU alum, has been an artist in resident this past year and teaching a master class. It's been really fun for our students. College wouldn't be college without the campus traditions, and we are, we're rich in those traditions. A few of our loved uh, traditions include lip sync during fall homecoming week, um, love not hate day, and then we have our children's miracle network dance marathon. So it's a lot of fun. We also offer over 80 student led organizations, including a robust Greek life. We have uh, intramural sports and a fitness center for available to our students. The other thing that we have is we have an honors program that is university wide. It allows students to be able to collaborate in cross-disciplinary learning communities. So you'll be able to engage in seminar courses with some of the university's best dedicated 
um, professors. You do have to apply to be a part of that program. And the application for that is typically available in November. Um, our athletic program is part of the NAIA division, allowing us to award scholarships for athletes. And we've won a national championship in at least one sport every year for the last 26 years. Um, you can see we have 22 varsity sports, including rowing, women and women's wrestling. The Petrie College of Arts and Sciences has the majority of our liberal arts, including our visual arts and things. Um, you're gonna see we have studio art, we have graphic design, the graphic design, we have film production, and two of our newest degrees um, are esports management and game design and animation. We're probably best known for our performing arts. The Ann Lacey School of American Dance and Entertainment is ranked as one of the top 10 um, dance schools in the nation. We have over 70 alumni who are performing or have performed on Broadway. You do have to audition and interview uh, for this school and information is available on our website. If you're interested in musical theater, composition, performance, you're going to want to audition for the School of Music. They offer over 250 productions, production events each year. Um, and so one of the things that's important to know with them, though, is that they want you to complete your admissions application before you can audition for the program. And our School of Theater is one of the fastest growing programs in the country. What I can say is all three schools, dance, music, and theater, work really well together and perform hundreds of production events each year. Needless to say, you will perform. Um, as for the admissions, we take a holistic approach looking at you as a person. We're going to look at your class rigor. We're going to look at extracurricular involvement, service and leadership experience, and what your recommenders have to say about you. Um, to apply, you need to submit an application with an essay, a recommendation letter from your high school counselor, um, your official high school transcript, and $55 application fee or a fee waiver. You can apply online or through um, the Common App. So online through our website or through the Common App. Your submitted application is going to serve for both admissions and scholarship consideration. We know and you will agree that college is an investment in your future. And we work to make it affordable for all. Last year, we awarded over $34 million in financial aid. And we have several opportunities for you to receive scholarships. Our automatic merit scholarships for first year students are based on a scoreless or GPA only grid. And these scholarships are renewable for all four years, as long as you maintain a 3.0 GPA while you're at OCU. Finally, I want you to know we are offering campus tours. Um, it's a great way for you to get on campus and see um, what it's like and see if you can see yourself there. I've provided my contact information here. Don't hesitate to reach out um, if you'd like more information. Thanks again for coming. Thank you so much, Leslie. We will move right along. I believe next up we have the University of North Texas. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Gucher. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions for the College of Music at the University of North Texas. So a little bit unlike my colleagues here. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about music. Sorry to all my visual artists and actor and dancer friends out there. Um, a few things to note about the University of North Texas. We are housed in Denton, Texas, a lovely college community in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, just about 30 miles north of Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, lots of amazing opportunities for performance in the community, as well as around the entire Metroplex area. We are, um, excuse me, our admissions process, sorry, I don't have a PowerPoint presentation either, but I will talk you through our website here, music.unt.edu. Our admissions process is here broken down by each area, undergraduate, graduate, international applicants and second bachelor admissions for those who have maybe already earned a bachelor's degree but are wanting to seek out um, more opportunities in music. For all students who uh, want to attend the University of North Texas College of Music, there are three steps to that process. The first is to apply to the University of North Texas, either through Apply Texas or the Common App. The second step is to apply to the College of Music separately. That is an application that opens September 1st of every year. 
And our preferred deadline for that application is the first Monday in December. That preferred deadline ensures that you will get to come in for that third step, which is an audition. For some areas, there is a pre-screening um, necessary at all graduate levels and some undergraduate levels. Other folks will be invited straight off of that College of Music application directly into the audition process. Folks who apply to University of North Texas are automatically considered for academic scholarships. And those who come in to audition are also considered for music merit-based scholarships. Typically those begin at the $1,000 a year level for a very specific reason. And that is for our out-of-state friends um, with any competitive scholarship at the University of North Texas of $1,000 or more, that comes with an out-of-state tuition waiver. Um, that ensures that all of the students who are coming from out of state pay in-state prices, which comes to about a $13,000 a year savings for those students. Another thing we'd like to point out here is our various academic programs within the College of Music. We offer several undergraduate degrees. Um, the first to focus on are performance-based degrees. Those are going to be both classical and jazz studies performance degrees, Bachelor of Music. We also offer two concentration Bachelor of Music degree programs, one in composition, another in general choral and instrumental music um, with teacher certification, that is our music education degree. Um, and with that, at the time of graduation, all students who participate will be K through 12 certified in the state of Texas. We also offer three minors in music. Um, those are a general minor in music for all students who attend the university, no audition for that is required. A minor in business entrepreneurship, as well as a new commercial music minor that will begin this fall that we're very excited to start. That will consist of songwriting and song production classes, um, along with lots of digital workstation opportunities. And the entire minor over the course of 18 hours will culminate in writing, recording, and producing one's own album. A third um, area to point out as an undergraduate major, I apologize for skipping this, is the BA in music. For those of you who are maybe interested in doing music and you're not exactly sure what that looks like for you, maybe it's not music ed, maybe it's not performance, um, it's a slightly more flexible degree program that offers more opportunities to take electives in other areas in the university outside of the College of Music. We also offer graduate degree programs. Um, we offer MA and PhD opportunities in music history, theory, and ethnomusicology, as well as music education, um, MMED, and PhD. We also offer a Master of Music Performance and Doctor of Musical Arts programs in all of our areas of instrumentation, including jazz. We are also pleased to offer um, two different tracks for graduate artist certificates in opera in particular, one in opera coaching and one in opera directing. Another thing we'd like to highlight here for all of our students is this students tab. Um, one thing that we're very proud of is our music library, as well as our mu music computer lab and studio. All of our students have access to both of those features on campus throughout the year. The music library is housed actually in our um, university library called Willis Library. And the entire fourth floor of that is completely dedicated to music, where we house plenty of sheet music. You very rarely would have to pay for music during your time at UNT, um, in addition to um, many, many um, collections of various artists. We also have a few um, housing opportunities for you within UNT. Um, the first being Bruce Hall, which is where the majority of our music majors live, simply because it is across the street from our College of Music building. Within that, um, Within that dormitory, we also offer a living and learning community, guaranteeing that you will be um, paired with a fellow music major and live on a hall that is all music majors, really getting to build in that tribe right from the day you step foot on campus. Another pro of Bruce Hall in particular um, is that the, in the basement, there are three practice rooms in addition to our two lovely practice buildings, um, but on those super cold days, We've had a couple of ice storms lately. If you don't want to get out and walk across the street to those areas, um, you do have the opportunity to use those in the basement as well. We here in the College of Music Admissions Office are here for you at any time. If you have any questions about the admissions process, what it's like to be a student at UNT, what it's like to live in Denton, we are here for you throughout that time. This is my information here. My name is Sarah Gutcher, or you can reach out to our student um, ambassadors, music students. They are current undergraduate students 
you can reach out to them at any time as well and learn firsthand from their experiences as well. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. All right, perfect. And then last but not least, I believe we have uh, Miami University. All right. Get this set up. Hi, everyone. My name's uh, Chad Reynolds. I'm the interim assistant dean for the College of Creative Arts at Miami University. And um, the programs that we have at Miami University in the college are um, architecture and interior design, a emerging technology and business and design, which is another program that could be or was formerly known as um, interactive media studies. But in this college is or in this program is for designers that cover areas such as augmented reality, um, digital animation, um, uh, robotics, artificial intelligence, and um, virtual reality. And so we have an, a lot of opportunities that blend a lot of design and technology together. We also have a theater program that has a BA in theater. We have a, a Department of Art, which also, um, also has quite a bit of programming within it, art and architecture history, communication design, art education, studio art, which covers ceramics, metals, painting, printmaking, sculpture. Um, we also have a art therapy co-major, which I'll uh, mention in just a little bit in a fashion um, co-major as well. In our uh, department of music, we have a BM in composition, education and performance. And um, we also have um, a BAs in performance, culture and technology. For our co-majors, which is kind of a unique Miami um, uh, program is it's think of it as a, a little bit more or a lot more than a minor and a little less than a major, but it pairs nicely with many of our creative art programs. And in those, and the one we'd like to highlight, which we're developing into a full-fledged major in the next year is an arts management and entrepreneurship. So all those individuals that want to still, still uh, be in the passions that they have for art and music and, and but also have a business um, side of them that they'd like to explore, this is the program for you. We have a lot of minors that are available in the College of Creative Arts. Um, and you can see them all here. I won't list them all, but um, you get, you absolutely can continue and, um, and look, look, study the, um, study the things that, that you want to for, that you're passionate about and still, and still do some other things. We're a, a liberal arts institution. So these are some of the common uh, double majors and minors we have at the college or at Miami University. Um, so we have over a hundred different programs and you are welcome to explore those. And even if you don't want to major in um, music and art, you could still take classes and carry on in those programs. We also have an art museum at Miami. It's nationally accredited. Um, it's a learning museum. We take pride in it so the students can come in, put on the white gloves. We have Picasso's Warhols, 17 different, 17,000 different pieces of work. We're also bringing artists onto campus and, and giving students experiences with them. Then we also have a program called Thriving Artist Network. And this is a, a um, career centered or centered program. And we get students connected with our alums on campus in major cities like New York and Los Angeles, and it allows them to explore the careers that are available to them there. This is our um, one of the other very popular things at Miami University that we do, and that is our study abroad options. We have a campus in Luxembourg, and so the students can study in Western Europe and get a chance to see all the masterworks that are there, but also have the convenience of being at a Miami uh, University campus right there. This is a video, but I'll go ahead and skip that just for now, just for time. But one thing to know at Miami University, 98% of our college um, graduates are studying in the field that they are, um, are studying in the field within one year of graduation or going to graduate school. And then again, my name is Chad Reynolds, the interim assistant dean. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. 
Thanks so much, Chad. Um, I will go ahead and wrap things up for us tonight. Um, so first off, thank you all for being here and thank you all for joining us. Um, as soon as you close this window, um, a short survey will pop up um, it's about a five question survey. Um, please fill that out. It would really help us. Um, and feel free to sign up for more sessions. There are more sessions this week. So please check out our website. And then last but not least, the recording for tonight will be available at strivescan.com slash Texas. Thank you all for joining us and we will see you next time.